Hi, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer, and today we have the Thule Air Screen XT. So this is going to be a wind fairing for your Thule crossbars. We'll take a look at how to install it and how it works right here at eTrailer.com. Wind fairings became super popular for the round and square crossbar market, especially the square bar, because of just how they're shaped, lots of noise when you go down the highway. Now, aero bars are a lot more popular, especially things like the Thule Wing Bar Evo, which is what we have up top on our vehicle. So we don't have as much wind noise, but for certain situations, maybe you have a cargo basket, maybe you have a bike on your roof, maybe you're carrying larger or bulkier items, you may want to decrease that wind noise, and that's where this will come in handy. I put a bulky thing on the roof, which is an entire bike with a bike rack, and we have them on our aero bars. Now, let's drive down the highway and listen to it. There's a little bit of wind noise from the bike, so we'll see if using a fairing will make so there really wasn't that much noise that I could notice. Like I could hear a little whistle from the bike, but nothing too concerning. But I was also going about 60 miles per hour and I just had a single bike up there. So if you have something bulkier, maybe a cargo basket and you have more wind noise, you may want to install this fairing. So the fairing on our roof and the clip lined up to our crossbar, you get the strap, you bring that over the crossbar you're gonna push down while pressing on that clip. It's gonna be a tight fit. So all the straps are secure, everything's lined up. We've got the rubber pads on the bottom. Well, now we gotta take it for a drive. Now, while there was a little bit of a change, I don't think there was that big of a difference when it comes to wind noise that I could hear. Now, that could be different depending on what's on the roof and or what speeds we're going at, how much wind is coming down, things like that. So, I do think that wind fairings were very important when we had round and square crossbars as our only options. Now that we have aerodynamic bars though, not as big of a deal. They're solid, they're sturdy, and they don't make as much wind noise or have that much wind drag going down the road. Pretty much all of the other brands that have crossbars also have fairings for them as an option. This one, I do like the ratchet straps. They're a little tricky at first to get into and tighten down, but compared to clamps and things that have wing nuts, these are so much easier to use. Kind of like the one that Inno has for their screen, you have to tighten that down with some knobs. Now, most of them have the rubber stoppers on the bottom that sit on your roof. I do like how this one is curved and designed to sit gently on your roof, create that grip and traction without sliding, but also not scratching up your roof. So if you are gonna get an air screen or a wind screen or a wind fairing for your roof rack, I personally don't think it's as big of a deal as it was with only round and square crossbar options. But amongst your wind fairing options, Thule has a very nice, sleek design and very easy to install. Remember, you do have those different lengths, so make sure you get the right one for you. And that was a look at our Thule Air Screen XT wind fairing for your crossbars here at eTrailer. My name is Evangeline, and I hope you enjoy the journey.